And now, on your Feel Good Breakfast show, right here on S3, is something that we do call entertainment news, but in South Africa, we call it Celebrity Skinner. And we're about to pack uh, all of this out for you, just to make sure you know exactly what's happening in the entertainment world. We've got so many stories to share, and let's just jump straight yeah, in. Yeah, because you don't want to be caught out, man. No. You don't want to be caught out. People are chatting, and you're in the kitchen at work. And right. you're like, ah, oh, it's how embarrassing. You can't join the conversation. So let's give you some of those conversation starters. Starting with Denise Zimba. Congratulations. Little Mila has now entered into the world. We love it. And it seems that 2023 is definitely the year of the baby. And we love seeing families <laughs> grow. Look at the gorgeousness. Now, actress and media personality um, that she is. She surprised her fans and her friends alike within the industry when she revealed that she had given birth to her second born. Congrats. She took to her Instagram account and shared a gorgeous video of her birth and pregnancy journey, writing uh, tired, overwhelmed, uh, changed, isolated, but most importantly, in love and grateful. Aww. Hi, Mila. Yay. Yes, Mila. What a beautiful bubba. And also, congratulations, Denise. We, we love hearing it. We love seeing it. And thank you for sharing oh, these moments with the world. You know, you don't often see these, but I think this is great to, to get a little window into it. So all the best as we move on to a bit of from cuteness to scandal. What happened? All right. Carl, tell the me. scandal's simple. Now, Steve Harvey's wife. The question is... Did she? Did she or did she not? A few days ago, Steve Harvey actually found himself trending for the wrong reason when users of X previously Twitter, went crazy with reports that media icon Steve Harvey's wife, uh, Marjorie, had cheated on him with his bodyguard. Reports went on to allege oh. uh, that if they divorced, Marjorie wanted half of his wealth. And obviously, speculation went crazy. It was wildfire. Uh, the man himself shut out any claims when he spoke at the Invest v Fest on Sunday, saying, before I get started, <laughs> just let me say, I'm fine. Uh, the game show uh, host noted, uh, Marjorie's fine. I don't know what y'all doing but find something else to do, because we fine. Lord of mercy, man. That's what Steve added. I'm sure I wish I could cuss, though. Sometimes you just want to respond. And I ain't going, got no time for rumors and gossip, man. God's been good to me. I'm still shining. And That's he is he still said. shining. I he feel is. like he's entering into the best phase of his career, but he's kind Very of like good. a puppet to all of us. So when Steve steps in and says, hey, OK, enough yeah, of your nonsense, down. little ones. Okay, enough of that, okay? I'm down for that. So um, we are glad to hear that they are okay. Yeah. We are also really glad to hear when another one of our icons adds another feather to his hat, arrow to his quiver, I don't know. Another bag. <laughs> another bag. It's another bag bags. is coming, man. Um, yes, Samizi is launching his brand new venture, and it's for the little ends. Media personality and style icon, Samizi Mklongo is launching a new business venture, and if you want your child to be the coolest looking kid in the world, step right up. It's a kid's go. clothing line, and it's called Sompire Kids, which launches this Friday, the 1st of September. Do you think there's a waiting list? Of course, it's there gonna, must that's so be easy a as well. But Come I'm on. thinking, you know how we are South Africans, we, we tend to always look at kids and go, oh, oh. shame, it's beautiful. Now we go, oh, sham. Sham, yeah. If you look at your child with this awesome drip on, I can tell you that uh, there are a couple of comments that come through that are on your screen, though. We inspired some, so I'm looking forward to some pie kids like that. So this sounds, sounds fun. This sounds fun. Yeah, you know it will be fun, and you know it will be on point, and you know now your child's clothing is going to cost more than yours. That's correct. Boom, and it's worth it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> So, now that that is out there, there's another thing happening on Friday, which is some new music. I love chatting about these things, because, you know, Nelly Furtado, I thought that she had taken a proper sabbatical, but she's yeah. back, though. She's got a couple of new she's songs. She's like a bird. She's like yes, a bird, she'll, you know? she'll flit her back. But she's coming back, because Timberland, as well as Justin Timberlake, have jumped onto a track with Nelly Furtado. And for months now, they've been teasing to this collaboration, but it's finally out. Keep Going Up is yours on Friday, featuring oh. Timbo, Nelly, and JT. Have you had a sneak? Have you been on the socials? I have, had a have sneak you heard? Of this. And yes, it's so it's so good, so Timberland. I was going to say because they they start at a level correct. where most other artists end up. That's where this kind of collaborative. But did I yeah. show my age there at my a, li a little bit like a, a little dog, like one of those small lap dogs when you come home. Like I, I felt my whole body wagging my tail there. But, but this is though. this yeah. is incredible. The last time you heard of him was 2007. Give it to me with those, uh, you know, <gasps> the trio in studio. Give it to me. But now this time. 
It is going to be absolutely fantastic. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a big, big, big one. It's happening on Friday. But that's all we have to, for you with regard to entertainment news, a.k.a. Celebskin. Uh, we just need a bun. We need a bun. A bun? Life. A bun. Buns. Bun. Okay.